is the investigator once again with yet another edition of one of our uh, vibrant news. My what we are vibrant, <laughs> but one of those uh, series the Tubalete and Tubasula Kobu Suzi Nayenga Tubat Mazok is engaged in a Tulabant Mose Taga. Science and Yoku Vera Konamwe, Nze Stanley Ndugu Ndaula, the investigator as usual, the gun that fire. Not the one for hire. You need to know that on a daily basis. To gain a mass so no ku subscribing, uh, sharing, uh, like, and uh, give us that feedback. Yes, my dear, I watch more to go along. Only normally projects is a fair one as well as a sour. So, what why I come to be no caricane carita? Techiri Mustani. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you seated, you're watching from. To come on at a more, you know, to do day, I could be in those of Changa Tandika Maka Guno, Changa Tandika Investigator TV, and a good day, you could be sure you could be your Twitter bad deals banks do. To look at the banks, if you say every singer, Ubundi. But all general government, if you want to rob a bank, uh, make one. Our Gundi, our now Uganda, our Chi Governor, you are not Uganda twin um, incidents, Billy, the National Bank of Commerce, the Crane Bank. The big one is not in the So, but now Uganda, but no Gundi, actually, the Green. Land Bank, Rock Baby, Gambobio, Gateway, Politics, Navici, Neda Bowegi, and the Zabanani, and the Vaju Kalachi, the Vaju Bechi go. So, one of Uganda banks is single, one is the actual zone is single, the Zili foreign, the foreigners. At the foreigners, Kiva Singa, who are now Uganda, and Tibote Baba Bank, Zawe. Ah, Baba customers, Zawe, Kwe Kwe Kuanga, and Tino Tiagenda. Or on a bank came one again, I remind Gabri Nap Ntegezewa, Gabri Nap, Bulli account, Vaji Bako, Vaji Jacon, no subibi Bulli account. So, Omami, a Kolanga sent the Ninjinu, no wonder until no tea. I'm so Kuanga Yamoku, Vali Vava Gaga. So, a year now, Kuisa Yokuraga, Titugenda, Mo Bank Sikati, even to a Bulli Moon to Alieu. I mu business. I na biya kola. Ngabi biya biya makulu. Moina loan mu bank. Moina loans mu bank. Na ye almost fena nangi kenyi nga muendi. Ebizu biya tuita mu ne bank. Sinze ni na story yangi wa kuvaka sinze ku story yangi. Ni ni na story ne ekute banki yu. Ebiya limu simba amanyo. That Kayem and Yanayo facility. Man, the man you had Naitam Taviari Biango. Who said, Leron Chaziza, Omgeni, Mupia Mupia, Mulema Munanga, Maso Gafa, Haringans, <laughs> Bamita Docas, Com Juni, Nzerinio, Diatula, Com Juni, Nenga, Ye Com Juni Docas. Dokas in sense of club. Come over. I put a missive for HT. Uh huh. Pangambi or Limuloko. Yes, sir. A local dean. Just in Zira Boya Gallo cheat. Hm. Nigger book. What do you oppose a dean or richi? The Moroko. The Moroko. So, sense of Kulavako. And that's in Zobasa. Dokas to gain up in your own tonic than between your bank and a mother's antinon. She's a bank. Ah, you move to Fanagania, yet a tiny girl Munoga. Eh? Trina of Zoo Wafe, Naye, Wagon to teach them Sentinel Bank. Sentinel Bank. Ah, I never see one. I own Nanga student again. I own Jagat de Quan Julida. Eno show again of Bangi Quarter for Israel. Neka Tuaga la Kuaniliza Mubutongoli Docas Kumukutu Gafeguno or Guada investigator Mumani Viangi. If you have one avant, to what to process by process. Thanks for Kuravako. 
Amanya go get in Gabu, but Gabba go get my Brimoto and Gaja, Jay Ogayam in Yadi, the Stanley Ndugu Ndaula. Around Wangam, but watch you to them and Dugu Stanley and the Napoleon, tell young and you get a wind. But you need you or you get root. Ah, Balam Sizako, a Balabi buffet. Amanya and Pitiwa Komjuni Dokas. Komjuni. Yes. Um, but what we Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> Siri Muganda Blunji, so. <laughs> By the way, or you get up or you know, so mm. in English, uh, I'm called Komjuni Dokas. I'm a business lady. I deal in men's garments. Um, musubuzi, men's uh, garments. Men's men's or dealing garments. Or dealing among girls. Maybe you're so good at being Yeah. Uh, Nsubuzi ngo yeza basajja. Nkolela ku now called Chains of Liberty. Uh, downtown. Abasinga bajita ham. Naye ham. Uh, Jemuita ham. The entire. Complex. Complex is not for harm. While you were some other building owners. So, Niku Chains of Liberty. I'm a market. I'm a market. But I'm a marketer by profession. Mm. Uh, I did business administration by University of Science and Technology. Mm. Um, I. I'm one of those people that decided to put what I studied into practice. Okay, what's some of business studies? Business studies, no and I'm doing no business, no yes. Buli jo, wachala banji na haba loko lewe njini. Bobo ya galo mchalo mloko la kulimbe mwuze miyaka. I'm 34 years old, uh, born in 1989, on the 14th of July. Yes. Haba uli mloko lewe njini. Oli mama, oli mchala, gundi, oli... I am a mother of one. Uh, I'm not married. And I wouldn't say I'm single because um, it depends on uh, <laughs> your purpose in life. Yeah, I'm contented where I am. But I'm a mother of one. I wouldn't say a single mother because um, single means that... You're alone. I'm not alone. Ndi muloko le so nina katunda nina abantu nina so yeah. I'm a mother of one. Neta tama uwa uwa na diari so so inja kuba singo nga holi nga muri abazad deva bi. It depends. So um, go on. The doctor some suzi today kwe ma bega tu mani bwa tandi se ozali dwaru dawa. Tata, mama, or you work make a family, Mukuze Mutia. Let's take it. What inspired you? See, I want money in your business administration, it's my business, whatever. Studies. Nanga, Nebum Su Gamba Su Levi HBD. That's so So, what inspires you? Uh, things like that, because we are talking uh, to a bigger community. Abamu, Bakusinga, Abalala, Tebanata and Dika, Abalala, Balo was anti Omuntu Alinga Gwe, Yariba de Tarimo Hasso Ziza once say, Yunze Nakwez and again, the Yoko Gondi Aham. Nay, Okuba Bidi Mukaga, Okuba Bidi Mukaga. When I seem but occupied in a chief one as a young billy, I didn't waste it. So we look at downtown in Ga. I want to walk hustle. It is no gain there again. The top of it is it is a hustle. So I'm like, I So you never know, you can inspire someone. Um, 
okuvanti nonti oluzungu lwofuwa wantu investigator tujula tujula kugante rukirizi bwao naye nga jolie yokola chi so give us that uh um dokas dokas okuvira dale yo mwankole a little bit of my background mm. um uh Nzali Bambara. Mm. Uh, Lugazi. I've grown up in Bara. I was born in Bara. Uh, I'm a daughter. I'm the fourth born of five children. Brought up by a single mother. My. What um, you go get a single? Yeah, brought up by a single mother because my my dad is late. Actually, Sam oh, Labakoya Fanga and Dimutonyo. I'm born. Uh, by two parents, the late Jackson Kakabilo, and then my mother is called um, Twehile Yosaison, a hustler, like mm. like a hustler. Bambi, at we are mm. all graduates. Tewali wow. yali, uh, so made the government sponsorship and all that. Yeah, I would say that, but the uh, <laughs> fact that we could all go through campus and we went through good yeah. schools and um, yes, because okay. I went to Barra Kindergarten now, I think one of the very nice nursery schools. I went to Lugazi Progressive primary school yes mm -hmm. and then it was uh, actually the top notch of then i went to mbara municipal school for my p6 and p7 i went to aisha girls for my secondary school then i uh, went to center for my completion form six went to mbara university so ndi wakuna mubana batano meaning i'm the second last born three girls and two boys my mother was not employed by the government mm. my mother did small jobs like literally yeah? so my background and <laughs> yes who i am today is because of my mother uh, she had small shops we would do that business, every one of us would be there. Uh, she got contracts with the government to the Muita tea girls or something. Katina, no kat much, yes, much modernizing at Muina pantries and all that. But mm. we would cook tea from home, bring and supply, and um, that is where we got our school fees. At campus, I would do all that. Of Tona Genda campus, because I would do night. Nem supplying a chai, nem connected. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> please, 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 please. <laughs> As a campus lady, mm. those are things you would be like, no, I wouldn't do. Mm. My mother got contracts, those, 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 those uh, government contracts, local government contracts. Mm. We so went you had to move from <laughs> Simani kubanga buli omwa sobola okufumba chai but ya yete tenkanya alabenti Yes so mm. oh, that is my little background mm. uh, But the, all the five of you emuli Fena we tuli mukama acha tukumye fena tuli mukampala because buli omundo za bwe ya malirizanga campus nga yagala kuduka because i started from home all through mm. uh, our last born works with pinacom and uh, fortunately or unfortunately my mother struggled so hard to put us through school mm. but only one is employed <laughs> Abalala mm. fena tuwe itabayiribi, you know? So at some point I told my mother, kare singa school fees wa jimpa na intanika okusula. <laughs> mm. We are all running around businesses. Mm. So, so you are good students of mommy? I think, yes. Yaba igirizo kola? Yatu igirizo kola. Nobuta nyoma mirimu? Nobuta igulumiza. 
is that what I should say? Yes, yes. because Uganda and you are serving on a chair, you want to charge your roses and stuff. Yes, yes, and then you have to wash cups, hey. and then you have well, to wait a book of Mary. Wait, quit to eat, and mm. then you have to go through campus. And um, because of that, I started working. You ask something about it. I started working in Form 4 VAC. I would run around for gigs. So, Form 4 VAC, I did a gig with the uh, Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. Fly, we were promoting then, was it? I don't remember the brand. But, eh? Go shop by shop by shop and all that, and then fly. Well, and all that. In yes, mm. my form six vacation. Are you orange? That is when I think they were introducing orange in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Orange was, I think, orange had just come to Uganda, and then it was being introduced in Mbara. So, um, among us, the team that introduced orange in Barra cells. Mm. So we would move around and all that and you know, then to them be a miaka. Orange. Orange, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thirty four now. <laughs> but I thank my mom for giving me a chance to be me. She never controlled me. So I would do gigs. We go market and bar. Mommy Saison, thank you yeah. so much. So mm -hmm. I earned a million shillings in Form 6. Mm -hmm. To lead them. And I didn't know what, do. if you ask me what I did with the money, I don't know. I didn't, I never, table table. I never looked after anyone. My mother has blessed us that she would struggle. Siju Kiranga and Sabaya de Chukumi. And I never even paid for my tuition or anything. But come to think of it, where did I put that money? I don't know. And I was, not an, was no, I was not an outgoing person because literally I've never been was to out, yeah. Auntie and Kulete, just, yeah. I never went to count to we would um to create a cool more than one million. More than one million because mm. we would sell airtime. Eh. Airtime, uh Bakua airtime or popular by then scratch cards, yes. yes. You had a percentage on everything you're going to sell. Then they had phones. No, I mean orange still because we are marketing orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are selling lines. I sell you a line. Buli line is a SIM card. Ninako percentage. Airtime. Ninako percentage. Then there were phones because we would make very good money. Obu. Obu yumba, obu was, obu. No, 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 no. But we would move from. Um, no, no by Nanga, a motoka. Mm. Like, like we would move. Netugenda Ishaka. We are like only 10. Mm. And then we have to market the whole of Ishaka, the shops, and then pa people, you know. Mm. Ata Avantundoza by then they were, they were green because Tuatu Nanga card Nusu. Lukumi, Lukumi, something like that, mm -hmm. and Kuriko airtime. So people would easily buy SIM cards. Katijuki Danze would SIM card I think I had around 500 or something. But then you would meet someone, Kade Yandi, but Yo Lukumi, no Jitunde, and Kumi Bidi, meaning. And then there were phones, because Orange had small phones, cutting up all about MTN and something, and Simba. Katinga Simwezo. Depending on how much you would sell the phones because they were in different ranges. So, on a daily, because you would get money on a daily, you're not paid, but what you sell. Mm. And then every time. The commissioning agent. Yes. Kind. And every time they were. You know, the, I think then life was beautiful that. Mwage nanga somewhere and they stage and they put a chimotoka abazina and then it gathers people. So they put you there, but everything you sell out of that gathering, you still have commission. Mm. So that is how I make my money. Okay. Sijukila because I had never gone to club, I don't drink, I would stay home. Uh -uh. I first bought my mom a gift. I think I, I bought chairs at home 
after my first surrender because maybe then I didn't think that was surrender. Gandhi Mustan Big Bank that was at campus. Mm. So before we get there, mm. I think I worked for Orange for around five months, and Twaliku. Now they call them gigs. Mm. Uh, I think MTN had one in Busheni. Mm. So Twitter yo netuba sanga ngabali on that chivulu so. In the oranges are fenet while you move on, but then I tell my colleagues, Let's stop here. Good enough driver, and I made a name of the MTN. I want to sell orange lines to MTN bosses. Then their boss was called Domboli. Yes, something like that. Nemugamba to you know, na yen you know. Google line, the orange. I need to sell them to the bosses of MTN. Mm -hmm. So we enter and all that, and we made sales, by the way, on an MTN show. Mm -hmm. I get to meet Mr. James. Then he was for James. channels. Yes, the manager for MTN. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, "Who are you?" So he's like, do you mind if I gave you a job with MTN? Remember then MTN was the own thing. MTN, every, like, like, eh? mm. so next day I cross over to MTN. That was Still senior six pack. <coughs> Yes, mm -hmm. so I get taken over by MTN to sell mobile money. Then mobile money, MTN, was also being introduced, I think, in Uganda. So Which how... Which year are we talking about? When was that? 2008? Mm -hmm. 2008, 2008, something like that. So I am recruited to sell MTN mobile money. So then they would give us cards because Faba Tandika, but Wanga cards, Gatuinok swapping, you'd give me your old card, I swap it for you, give you a line that is registered with mobile money. So Gabatuwa some machines to transfer your information from the old one. It had good money. Same number? Same number. But yes, but we would swap so the line. So you get rid of Ye my old, old number. number. Get old all line. The yes. number no we would get rid of your old line, give you a new line that has MTN mobile money on it. And then, but the same number. So we would swap. While you are green, we put in and do the swapping. So we made money. I made good money. I actually also came to Kampala. But they take Kampala to still go, I think it was in Kumba, to, to still do the marketing and all that. So campus comes. Uh, I'm going to Mbara University, and then I can no longer do mobile business. Mm. So Simba Telecom takes me on. Oh. My manager gets me, because um, Simba specifically deals with MTN. So my manager gets me a job with Simba. Because they wanted to university. Take, Yes, when I started campus, I went to, they took me to Simba. Mm. But Simba, the shop, to sell, to attend to clients. Ayembara. Yes, Ayembara. Mm. So in Simba, because I was uh, an evening student, I would work during the day, leave at six, then go to campus. Mm. So I worked with Simba for around five minutes, for, mm. sorry, around uh, five months, and I got bored. Because mm -hmm. I don't like sitting. You can ask how I'm running a business, yes. I don't like sitting in a shop. That's not my thing. Mm. So I left Simba. But I had some capital with me. Mm. So 
after my first semester, I wanted to come to Kampala. To do what? I'm going to take you a little bit back. Um, after senior six, I was praying so that I could get admitted to a university in Kampala because I wanted to get independent. Sulekomu Hostel. Um, I actually wanted to also go to club. But... Um, oh, you know? And my sister was at Chambogo University. So every time she would come back home, Nenda bika, you know, she she would she did this hair and she would smell good and all that, and then you would be waiting for her to come home. So, mm. my mother refused and said I had to go to Mbara University. Not only going to Mbara University, but I had to commute from home because uh, Lugazi and Mbara University is close. And oh my God. It was the most difficult time, I think my first semester of my life. Then, now that I have a child, I understand what it means when a parent is trying to protect. But I felt like my mother suffocated me. Okay, people might take it, but I know some of us go through that. Every time I had to go back home, then I had some money and I felt I was independent. So after the first semester, I ran away from home. Because I went to Mbara, to Nkumba University uh, to do some uh, sales, I was like, let me go to Nkumba University and ask if I could be taken in. I'm going to pay my own school fees. <laughs> I thought I had money. So I ran away from home. Uh, Second semester. First semester. Mm -hmm. End of first semester. I ran away from home. I had a cousin who was staying in Entebbe. I didn't even go to my sister's because I knew she would not accept me. Ran away to my cousin's place in Entebbe. And she hid me. With an expectation that I'm going to Nkumba, I'm going to pay for myself. I had a job. The job is in Mbarara. But I had connections in Kampala. I still communicated with my bosses. Attendos are not Fuga because I think I can mark it. I think I can, yeah? So within the holiday of But the I think you are beautiful because you still are. Okay. Yes. My name, the way you look, ah. mo, 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 mo business, a, a battling. Then I did not understand that because I've grown up with a mother that always told me I wasn't beautiful. <laughs> mm. And I appreciate her because all the time, like, you do anything. <laughs> It's like, like she would always try to show you that don't get lied to by the world. Mm. Yeah? The world only tells lies. And I did not, yes, I get that compliment a lot as I've grown up and then I have uh, someone I call a father who always told me, you don't know who you are. Because I, growing up, I wasn't getting the compliments. I wasn't told about that. I grew up with a mother who always put us down, maybe to control us. So she was right, yeah. And I appreciate that. But uh, so I. So you're beautiful. You have a business mind. You. <sighs> hmm? But every you day. Are, uh, you are aggressive. I was too aggressive. Mm. But um, my story gets cut short when I come to Kampala because I didn't know what Kampala was. Uh, we go to a certain party with my cousin, uh, Doreen. 
Nadi sina sasura because I had not even gone. So when I came... You are not even admitted yet. No, 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 no. I didn't well, even know where I was going. Go. Yes, and I left. All I wanted was to leave home. Yes, all I wanted was to leave home. That is all I wanted in life. Just Because you want to be encouraging. Ni Musima was staying in... No, they are encouraging, but she told me it's okay. You know someone who, who just wants to take you in and maybe understand you. Yeah, because she, I think she, she thought mm. accepting accepting maybe No, she knew I was not going anywhere because I knew I knew nowhere. The only places I knew was Daphne's and then I would not go to Daphne's place. And because we so she came were, she got worried about you. Yes, and because we came from the same secondary school, she loved me. Nisima Dorin, yes, is married. And um, we are not so close Nisima right now. No, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. So when I came, mm. she had the house, but she wasn't staying in it. She was always in Kampala mm. with the other friends. So see how I get in a house. I don't know Kampala. Uh, but she would come once in a while, make sure there is food. So one day she takes me to a function. I think a friend had invited in Tebe Botanical Beach. I think there was a function there. Mm. So that is how I first get to a certain place like that. And uh, she dressed me, I think, so beautifully because she had some nice clothes I didn't understand. That is how I meet King's dad. So reason I'm saying, that is how mm. my life turned around. <laughs> So see how I get to a function, then coming out of a but function. But who is a king? Yeah, Mutawani, <laughs> why you get the why you get a king is that? Um no the was gonna out not think I'm a king. So that is we how I meet no, no so this is how I meet King's dad. Because he was Doreen's friend and then he kept in touch. Consider Doreen Doreen uh Nim Sima. Nim Sima Doreen. Consider mm. Yakutega you would No 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 no. Mm, and actually they were close, but I think this person got interested and I don't even know how we got close now. See how I come to Kampala, innocent from home. Now I have met a boyfriend and I think I was longing for love because my mother was always out there hustling and all that and then my, my siblings, we are not so close. And I find now someone who thinks they can love me. At all it is out, on the gamba stand where I'm to debia bank, the first cut is the deepest. Ned down. Jagalano on your mino montunga, Wakuria or Manichi, or my history way. The Mabanda worried the moon man you are denga said, say Angulanga, ABC Dina, Bolicasella came from Nayons or Loka Bolida Cochich and Ovenga of Montua Kunumiza, Chintucha Kunumiza. Tukenda kutoka samwe ya ugame. Yoba na wala ndoza ya chuguwa muna vugi ndoza. No kuzite ba ya zite wa butebi. You get it? You need to know the person you are going to chat with. Uh, but we have, we always have time here. Achitake ila. Banka tukenda, tuja kujia. Sentina banka tukenda kuko gira kuko. Paka kuhuli la bubi. <laughs> mm, gena mad. So. Osanzo mulenzi. Now. To cut the long story short, I end up getting married, I would say, because um, this person now would come all the time and then he ends up staying around and Doreen leaves and leaves me a house. Now I have a man. Mm. Did what, I even what was he doing? Who? The man. He was staying home by then. At his parents' home? At his uncle's home. But... Uh, Along the way, he got a job to market some yogurt company. So he would take me along every day, and then we do we do because he was given a car. Then he would put in yogurt, and then and then have to sell to different shops in Kampala. So he would put me in, and then we go together. Remember, you already have a history of marketing and selling things. Uh, he would not even allow me to go market on his behalf, but I would sit in the car. So see how I come to Kampala, see how I find love. Now I have a companion and all that. <laughs> so he convinces me to go back home. Tumbara. Tumbara. Oh, yeah. And uh, he tells me, you have to go back home. You have to complete school. I didn't want to go back home. I'm like, 
still I felt I had money and I would pay my own school fees. My relatives tried to communicate to me, to call me, to reach out for me because I think my mom could not call me and used my relatives and I told them I am a big girl so <laughs> I can look after myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. So going back home, I'm like, me, I'm not going to go back to sleep home. Me, I want to go to a hostel. I really wanted to go to a hostel. So my mother is like, if you're going back to the hostel, you have to pay school fees for yourself. Then I'm like, it's okay. Now remember, I'm no longer in Simba. I'm not working. Mm. And then, but I had a boyfriend. So a boyfriend who brought me back home. So I'm like, I'm not going back home. Um, he told me, okay, I'm going to pay for you hostel money. So we looked for a hostel, and I went into a hostel. And uh, he would come every weekend because uh, the company, the yogurt company was in Barra. So the entire second semester, I didn't pay tuition. I was in campus. I now didn't have money, but I didn't care. Uh, they had paid for me hostel, and I had a boyfriend. So <laughs> towards exam time, you would not sit for exams unless you had paid. So Alan tells me, you have to go and apologize to your mother. Because at mm. the end of the day, and I think because he was brought up by a single mother as well. You your figured mother, out what your mother Your was mother is for. everything. So I went back home, knelt, apologized. My mother wept like a child, she cried. And accepted me back. <laughs> then I was blessed. To, I don't know how blessed I was that I did exams minus paying. The entire second semester, my mother didn't pay. So second semester ends and my mother is like, if you want me to pay for your tuition, you come back home. You have to come back home. I gathered my belongings and I went back home. So throughout holiday, she tried to pay my tuition and then come third semester, first year, mm. Docas is back home. Mm. So I kept with my man. I would uh, find a reason to run away and go to Kampala. And then come back home. But third semester, I had, think I had come to Kampala, and I went to Beauty Corner. It's called Beauty Corner, and they were selling perfumes. Actually, third sem second semester holiday, my mom allows me to come to my sister's place. So, and then there was my sister's friend called Patricia. Up to now, actually, she's more of a sister. I think that is how I got to town and then we go to Beauty Corner. Beauty Corner is a uh, former Nakmat, that building. So I see nice perfumes. Because I have uh, marketing in me, I purchase perfumes. Mm -hmm. Third semester, I am starting my own business, but mobile. I would, I would go to all those corporate companies the stand beaks and all that in market and all that and do the sales uh kafoko i got to learn about um, bio oil so throughout my third year sorry my third semester first year then second year i was doing mobile business and i was getting good money so third year I enter Stanbic Bank. Third year? Third year. Nyingi mm -hmm. lam Stanbic Bank. Third year, first semester. Nyingi lam Stanbic Bank mm. with my perfumes to sell. So I enter the manager's office to sell my perfumes. Mm. But I met him seated with a group of guys. So. I marketed to them and all that and um, you found the manager seated with some other gentlemen in his office. You go to the manager without going into any gondi through any hustle. 
It depends. And actually, I always tell people in life mm -hmm. that everywhere I've moved, everywhere I've passed, I've never bribed anyone, and I don't like it. That is me. I don't bribe. I only give a tip to say thank you. Mm -hmm. And I have never mm -hmm. had a problem with entering a place. Mm -hmm. Just like I came to you and I entered and I asked. I have, it, it and I have entered parliament. <laughs> I think it was um, during my internship. I entered parliament. I entered, passed through the main gate, walked through. I was looking for a colleague who was working there then, Sheila. I am telling you. So people don't believe it, Sheila but that's Kamana. a fact. Hmm? <sighs> <laughs> I would <laughs> not, among us, the things I'm going to reserve, I'm going to reserve <laughs> explanation about her. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I enter Stanbic Bank with my bag, did my sales, introduced myself did my marketing and uh, one Mr. Ronnie bought a perfume from me and he asked me Stanbic Ruda? Stanbic Mbara branch yeah. and uh, he asked me can you come back tomorrow then I'm like why you know and he's like um, I would love to pick a perfume for my girlfriend. We are a team from Kampala. We had come here to conduct some interviews because I think they were looking for a sales team for Barra branch to do sales. Okay, like the loans. We are talking about banks now. I think we are a little bit coming uh, to market loans. So he tells me come back because we are leaving back for we are traveling back to Kampala tomorrow so please come back I would love to pick up a perfume some like it's okay I think I was there at around uh, midday and he told me would you love to get a job with Stan Big Bank then I'm like why He's like, yesterday we were here to conduct interviews but out of a hundred people that Turned up. That turned up and then uh, took through the interview process. We didn't get anyone as good as you were. You entered here. You introduced yourself. You were so, 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 so. You had not gone for interview. No, 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 no. I'd gone to sell perfumes. Mm -hmm. I had perfumes in my bag. It was mm -hmm. like, you're so confident. The fact that you found around six men in a place and then you could talk to them. So I'm like, okay. So what do you have to offer? And that is how I got a job with Stan Big Bank. Mm -hmm. Which job? Kutembe Yalons? Yes, sales. Mm -hmm. But it was defined because I was called a sales agent, sales representative. Umbar. Yeah, ma, we would move the entire western region. Mm -hmm. My uh, <coughs> entire... Perfume knows it's all out. Eh, Auntie Katia Funyo Mori Musse. Perfume is all in Gaza Kutambra and Zoku Mabeg. Auntie Katia Gani no Kujene Kampalan Sugule. Katia Funyo Mori Mutat. I take a team for your money money brand in campus. Yes, I was corporate. <laughs> because at campus we had matures that would do uh, long distance, only come for some time. So I'm counted among us the corporate workers. Mm. So I get a job and uh, the number of facilities you would bring in, the volume is how much you would get paid. Facilities as in? Loan facility, yes. No convincing. Never final salary loans. No get over convincing. Yes, to get loan. Yes. So. Go for now commission. Go for now commission. Now, but the good thing about Stanbic was we were attached to all branches, Western region. So you would go to Bushenyi, no Sanganga.
cells represent at owner to demo of mu in the bank yes ngaina loan ze abantu abe abajamu mm mu bank okufuna loans but because he also wants commission out of it he would give you those volumes and you add so third year mfuna million is billion but not obaleted dobuzi wa abachali abachali kola uh, I don't know whether the system changed. It's almost around uh, <laughs> uh, 10 years plus, mm. but that was it. Mm. So we would go to the bank, the sales um, manager or something, the, the loans, the loans uh, officers of them, nga ina volume zize, na ziteka mugundiyo, nga commission o ino kumuwa. So you'd find that you get almost a salary of around 4, four million or something, nengo ino ku. Mm. something. So I get my my first around two million <laughs> of uh, salary third year mm. at campus. Uh, and I and I got distracted a little bit because we would go to, we would go to Kanungu and all that in Spain and then only come weekends and all that and uh, God saw me through. And I completed campus, but I completed campus still in Stan Big Bank. Mm. Immediately I completed campus in Alisiro to Nakuru and Amali Disabwent campus. Because uh, during my third year, third semester, I'd spoken to my then um, boss that I wanted to transfer to Kampala. Because I was uh, the best sales uh, agent in Bar, I was given a transfer. So immediately I completed that, like, like this, uh, my last paper, I came to Kampala. Coming to Kampala, I was attached to Cham Towers. Mm. So Kampala was so good. Again, it was Otembe Yamabanj. Naye Katinga to... Otembe loans. Yes, but more, mainly we are attached to all the branches mm. in Kampala. So I'm among us the people that went to prison Zuruzila. To mm -hmm. kutunda accounts Zuruzila. <laughs> we were uh, taken to Ruzila because Batudilam, um, maybe that is secret information for the bank, but now me I'm talking about my story. Mm. That uh, among us the people in Ruzila prison, Mulimube Basibanga wa innocent enyingi. Mm. And um, they would want to be sure that their money is safe. Mm. I got to meet Tonku. Tom mm. Kurunziza. That is Tonku. Yes. Mm. I met Tonku in Rosilla prisons because me, I was targeting the ones you would call high profile. Prisoners. No, uh, the bank itself. Would, no, the bank would give us. Actually, mm. I am not a reading person. I, that, that's that's my unfortunate mm. bit. The bank would give us the names of the. I think they would read. They would give us names of. The prominent people. Have yes, been sent and then going to prisons. Mm. We would go specifically to meet those. So you would ask the prison's warden that I want to see so and so. Mm. So I met two people. There is a certain um, gentleman called was called Ronald. Um, he was accused of a murder, but I think the wife was behind all that, and they wanted to take his properties. But he had money. That is the first person I met. God blessed me that that gentleman got out of prison mm. and immediately he got out. I remember getting a call from someone and he tells me, do you remember me? I am so and so, I am out of prison, I would love to buy you a cup of tea. Mm. He looked for me in Chirika and gave me 50,000 and told me I am out. I found most of my properties were sold, but thank you for what you did for me. I'm not going to go into the details. And uh, at least with that, that I saved 
when I came out, I am able to find somewhere and I am starting and I promise you that I am going to be someone so important. So, I am going to be someone so important. He had some money that mm. uh, was um, in a certain bank but he was not trusting because by the time they arrested him, he had not fixed that money. So he wanted it on a fixed deposit. So I got him a check. But uh, besides that, you know, I always hear people say that um, it's always good to speak to strangers when you have issues. Mm -hmm. And I thank uh, Rosilla Prisons, uh, Wardens, and all that. Because we got time. Mm. We, we discussed, we chatted, we, and we talked. And I realized men have issues. Mm. So out of the conversation we had, here I was a young child. Actually, he was so grown up. And uh, I think my words, he picked something out of it signed me a check, opened for him an account, and then got his money from the other bank. And I think by the time he got out, his money had... Um, had made some good... He had made some profit. interest. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. So I as well met Tonko. We talked about... Because that is the same thing I wanted from him. And um, Tonko was very happy. Mm. Sometimes... I don't know whether he's still in prison. But sometimes people need people to talk to. And he told me, come back tomorrow. I'm going to see with my uh, officer and see how we can get that money. Because I wanted him to do, to do a fixed deposit account. The next appointment we had with Tonku, I thought he had made me a necklace. Uh, actually, King spoiled that necklace when he was around three Don't years. Don't you worry where it went, but how, how did he no, do no, it? No, 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 no. Yeah, because uh, him bringing it to me was uh, ever since he came into Rosilla, he found a new self of him. So, Baba Igiriza, they, what they do with their. Um, too much time in, in cells mm. is Baba Igirizebiye Mukono. So he's like, mm. this is one of the things I've been doing. Oh my God, mm. the necklace was so beautiful. Mm. And he's like, I want to gift you this mm. to tell you thank you for thinking about me. Mm. It was not my idea, it was the bank's idea. Mm. I wish I can find just a portion of that necklace because mm. I've tried to look for each duplicate or something I've failed. It was so beautiful, but the thought itself. Mm. So. No, 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 no. I, um, the gestures of random people mm. in life mean a lot. And if there is one gift I got out of Stan Big Bank. At Yaya, we have uh, what we call random acts of Ubuntu. Yes. That is our charity wing. We just randomly go and uh, donate. But I tell you people, you can see somebody really, yes. really, really uh, happy. So mm. I worked with Stan Big um, up to when I got pregnant. Mm. I was going to get uh, permanently employed by Stan Big Bank. I thank my bosses then. Uh, Mr. Allen, I don't know if they're still there, Muganzironi, because they love me so much. Stanbeek? Uh, Stanbeek. Stanbeek. Nae, walimu, kati, walimu, erage in loan section. Still, yes, sells for loans, but all branches. But I was um, going to be taken in, because I'd done interviews as a business banker. Mm. So, I get pre I didn't know I was pregnant. Uh, but I would um, doze, I would not come to work, so I'd done interviews, but my branch then that I was attached to, which was Forest Mall, mm, the manager then, 
uh, complained about me, wrote a letter to head office. And uh, I think I'd done interviews the previous day, and uh, I couldn't be taken in. But my bosses did all they could. I think the head for sales then in Stanbic moved himself to head office to mm -hmm. explain on my behalf. I'll never forget. Then I told him I was sick, and he drove all the way to Chirika. Mm. No, I think I was, uh, I told him I'm at case clinic, I'm going home, because I not worked and I'd not reported, I didn't know about those things of reporting, mm. if you're not going to come to work. So he told me, where are you? So he drove to case clinic to confirm, phoned me out, but I'd gone to do it, so that is when I knew I was pregnant, I'd done a scan, but I didn't tell him, because I knew the fact that I'm still in cells they would stop me because they don't allow pregnant, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, my mom was in Kampala. He drives me up to where, to home, my sister's home. That is where my mom was. He meets my mom. Then he's like, you need to write a formal apology and all that, the manager has complained. And I still had my ego, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I had saved some money on my account, like, like, nah. Mm. So I didn't apologize, I did not. Mm. So that is how I left Sandvik Bank. Mm. I'm pregnant, I go back home. Mm. But I had money on my account. Mm. So I call King's dad. Now that's my boyfriend since um, first year, first semester. Told him I was pregnant. Okay. Now the rest is history. So here I am. Um, you told him you're pregnant and, and the rest is history? What, what does that mean? The response is what I don't want to talk about. Mm. But you are not one in a million. There are many people get different disagreeing responses. Remember, I am. Uh, I was brought up by a single mother mm. who struggled so hard to see me through school. She attends people's weddings. And I am pregnant out of wetlock. And the person that um, responsible tells me that's not his child. I should look for the father. Mm. I thought I was grown up. I thought I had ego, but um, now I am. No, no salary pressure. <laughs> I can't go back home. I'm sorry for laughing, but now yeah, it's okay. uh, that response would come from a person. Hmm? Did you have any issues with no. him? Is it your catch sparking up? His no, because um, on uh, different occasions, I think he was young. I think he was uh, also out in the world. I think. Um, I'm not ready for such. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'm not responsible. When I came that back... That means, means over my no, 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 no. Actually, you know, growing up now, the me that I am today, I would have asked myself questions. Uh, when I came from, uh, from Barra after campus to come and say, I rented my own house because... Um, he had multiple, I'd phoned him like in um, multiple affairs, you know, but I was in Imbara and then he was in, in Kampala. So I decided to get my own house. I'm like, okay, we can, he can always come because I'm not married. So I would not be in someone's, in, so, in a man's house. So I'm like, if we are to be together, let it be official and then we can move in. So he would come, 
that is how I got pregnant. Uh, telling him he told me his family doesn't. Actually, the statement was, because we went together to hospital for checkup, then he dropped me, and he told me, because it was around um, 10 p.m. in the night, and he told me, I remember he stopped at the gate and told me, that's not my child. Uh, yes, go look for the father of the child. And two, I can't marry you because um, my family doesn't like you. And um, mm. about that. Abatu uliza tuline dokas komurunji, komujuni, atunimiza stories. Story je tuliko mgana nge tuliku bank. <laughs> tuliku bank, nye situ agala mchimanyi uli jo, tugenda process by process. We need to know who we are. Because uh, we are not just like any other station. Oh, channel where you will go, but we will not do it. We are But when we cut your hair, here, you become a part and partial of us, of uh, the family. So, to what we are talking about, family is not about stand late family, see that your family, see, but no, but never that they go and know before. But family is you. You are the greater family ya uh, investigator. So, I'm not going to be late today. Twins of Taku, two Sakuchi, Chenini. Nenga, tuwa gala ukumumanya. Ayo yebintu vya item, nomale sisi stopping amu ntuku kaa kwa kumanga vya chaba ulira. Tegeleke kwa yebintu vya item, mwenina mwribu bita mwe. Yaba mwukati saa wazi. Otude kuchitanda chotude mwudiro liyo. Na hii yesterday, last night, guy ya kugambia no ya chitayo uomwa no uyo. Nenga kwe, for you, you are very sure. Kutegele. So, tugenda kuda mchitundu kati echirimu, olubanyi malo kutu, ziriro, olubuto, olubanyi wala yona, ya mala na astuka. Na astuka, na akomawo, okutuka kulevo, jari kati ogugula na ne mat billion financial institution. Jiba jita centenary, ya tugenda mu. Ne banks and other ze ze kolo solo to Jakubanga to Zeta mu chitundu cha pecho cha bad deals banks do. Nobu gambo wo, sigala wotoba wo, mukama bena we, mwedawa.